Hi guys, as you know, Pokemon Go is super popular right now, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do this really cute Goldeen tutorial. The first step of this design is to trace out the base of it with Krivlin Regular White and a larger round brush. I used a number six here. So it's just an oval with a pointed end. Then at the right hand base of the oval, just do a little heart-shaped mouth. And to get the perfect color, I used Krivlin Pink and a little bit of Krivlin Orange mixed together on my brush. To the left of the mouth, just draw a really big eye. Make sure it's nice and big. And I used um, a mixture of black and gray from the Krivlin Split Cake Bat Eye for the outline and all the colors, just so it's not as harsh as black. And then for some of the orange markings, just kind of plop your brush down. You don't want it to be perfect. They're kind of messy, uh, markings so that's the kind of look you're going for and then add a little bit of the creamy yellow and it's nice bright yellow and it creates kind of a water color effect and it works really well for the top fin I used that bad eye cake again and I just got some of the gray and white on my brush as you see here and then I wiggled it along the top of her head Make sure it gets smaller as you go down towards the bottom of her body. And one of the cutest things about Goldine is she has a unicorn horn. How cute is that? So it's not perfectly white, it's a yellowish color. So I just mixed yellow and white together on my brush. And then it's time to get started on the tail fin, which is beautiful and long and amazing. And I used that bad eye cake again, and I just did three strokes with a straight edged brush. Then I took a quarter inch square brush, and as you see, I'm wiggling on the tips of each of the strokes I made. So that's gonna make it look fluffy and gorgeous and beautiful. Just make sure to keep that gray color on the um, outside of the brush to help outline it. So you're just gonna wiggle and then pull up, wiggle and pull up. And then I added a little bit of white in there to give the whole thing a little more dimension, a little more interest. This is not a design you're gonna do at, you know, a, a large event. If you have a little more time, this is perfect, like for a birthday party, things like this. Or if you just kinda wanna play around and do something different and fun. Um, it does take a little bit of time, but it's super cute. So to add definition to the ends of the tails and to make them look even more fluffy and beautiful, I just took some Krivlin Regular White on my number six brush. And as you can see, I'm pressing down and then pulling up on the tip of the brush. And what that's gonna do is give you a nice white outline for the tail and then bring in texture and lines um, along the tip of the tail to make it look more realistic and give it um, really good dimension. Okay, now I'm gonna add the orange color to her tail. So I'm gonna bring orange down along each three segments that I created previously with that um, bat eye split cake. And now I'm gonna do the same technique that I did on the head. So I'm just gonna kind of plop my brush down and it creates really good natural looking um, fish scaly kind of markings. So just plop your brush down on the side of it and it'll give really good color variation and do the same thing with the yellow. So just go in there. And if you do the yellow while the orange is still wet, it blends in really nicely like you see here and it creates a beautiful watercolor blend. And you can tap with your finger to blend it in even more. All right, and her front fin goes right to the left of the eye and it starts out orange and ends white. So look at reference pictures. You can see that I'm glancing down pretty often. This is the first time I've painted this, so I don't have it memorized. And um, for the edge of the fin, you can just do little teardrops and it creates like a pretty feathered kind of effect. 
to help her look more 3D, I used um, the light gray and white from that bat wing um, split cake and mixed those together and put them on the bottom portion of her body. Then I filled in her eyelid with that regular equivalent orange. And using teal and white, I painted in her eyeballs. And with phthalocyanine, hopefully I said that correctly, um, blue, it's an amazing metallic -y, purpley, dark blue that I love for outlining. It's, I love it. It's like one of my favorite colors. Anyways, I did her iris and um, just outlined the outside of her eye with that color. And this is definitely a must have color. It's beautiful. And using that bat wing cake again, I mixed together black and gray for a little darker color and filled in her mouth. And then using just the gray color on it, I outlined the fins to give them more definition. And as you can see, I'm separating those three segments with lines. And I'm doing the same thing on her upper fin. I'm just dragging down color here to create shadows and then using that gray color to separate the fins and give more definition. So I'm pressing and pulling so it's nice and thin as it separates those fins. Just wiggle and pull. Now it's time for highlights. I'm gonna add two little dots to her eyes to make them look extra shiny. And a few strokes on her lips. And finally, a highlight mark on the top of her eyelid. All right, for the background, I used Krivlin Metallic Blue, which is a really beautiful and soft, shimmery blue. It's perfect for water, I love it. By adding this color around your forehead and underneath your eyes, it takes what was an eye design and turns it into a full face mask, which adds a lot of value in very little time. To add more interest, I pounced regular Krivlin Metallic Light Blue over a BAM stencil that I thought resembled fish scales, and this helps to add a lot of depth. Make sure your paint is nice and dry for this so it doesn't bleed. To complete the left side of the design, I decided to add bubbles, of course, how appropriate, and I used a little bit of the Krivlin Regular Teal mixed with white, just a tiny bit of teal, because I wanted the highlights that I put in later on to show up, and if the bubbles were white, white highlights wouldn't show, so I used that light, light teal color in all different sizes on the left side of my face. And then I put little sparkles in there to make the whole thing look magical and to tie it all in together. So she has to have a sparkle by her horn, of course. Just press and flick your brush. I was using a number two here. Use the very tip of your brush. So press and flick on the very, very tip of your brush. And then add those highlights to the bubbles. I did one on top and then one on the bottom. Press and pull so that they're thicker on one side and thinner on the other for each bubble and it'll give it a good three-dimensional look. Finally, add little dots for sparkles and that is it. I hope that you guys liked it and you can use it at an event soon. Um, this is crazy popular, so hopefully a little girl will love you for painting this on her. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below as well as all the products I used in this video.